Nothing can take a vegetable and turn it into paper thin slices faster or more efficiently than a mandolin. And Adam's here, he's gonna tell us more about this really useful kitchen gadget. You know, by the time we're done with this, you're gonna to wanna to retire your chef's knife. All right. Mandolins can be great, so much faster and easier than using a chef's knife. Our lineup has eight different models here. The prices we paid range from 24 to $200. Okay. And testers use them on an array of vegetables, large and small, soft and hard. There were tomatoes, there were potatoes fennel, beets, eggplant, and they also tried julienning carrots, celery root, and daikon. And you're looking for nice, crisp, clean slices. Couple of design factors mattered a lot. One of them was the type of blade. Now these blades, A, have to be sharp right out of the gate because they don't come out of the mandolin. They're set in there, you can't resharpen them. Correct. Number two, you would think that these two at the end that have two blades set in a V, would be that much better. Sure. Testers disliked them because they felt like the double blade caused more friction in the stroke. Oh. They preferred the ones that are in front of you that have a single blade set into the body as long as it was sharp enough. So those kind of hesitated. Yeah, like they were blade. a little harder to yeah. slice through. In terms of getting nice, even slices, testers noted that some of them had a little flex in the slicing platform. Again, these two V slicers we're guilty of that. There are weird little marks, they're not even, and that's because there was extra flex where the two blades meet. Yeah, you get better results with a knife every time. <laughs> Instead of that mandolin. Right. Also in terms of the cutting platforms, testers preferred them to be three and a half to four inches wide. Accommodate as much vegetables as you can get on there. There you go. Let's also talk about adjustability. You want to be able to make slices that range from like potato chip thin to eggplant parm thick. Right. The widest range in one of these was half a millimeter to nine and a half millimeters, which was great. So that had all the adjustability testers wanted. They also liked to be able to dial in which thickness they were gonna go. This one right in front of you, you turn this and it's clearly marked with different thicknesses. That's a much easier way and a much surer way to get a precise thickness. Very clever. Very clever indeed. Safety with these things yeah. is paramount because they are sharp. Yep. All of them have hand guards. The best hand guards were like this one. This is generously sized. You can get your whole hand on it and it was spring loaded. So as you slice away, it pushes down on whatever you're slicing, you nice. can slice the whole thing. We actually recommend erring on the side of safety with this. You wanna be cautious. We like to wear a cut resistant glove. This is our favorite one. This is by Mercer Culinary and it's the Mercer Guard Cut Glove. The reason we do this to protect our hands is that some of these hand guards puny, not doing a great job there. So you want to be extra careful. It can be a finger guillotine. A finger guillotine yeah. indeed. Another part of safety is stability. So testers preferred the models like these that have a kickstand and that sort of holds it up. Also some sort of sticky rubber covering over the kickstand for added stability so it won't slide around your work surface. Nice and secure. So testers found three that they really liked and they recommend each for different reasons. The sharpest one of the whole group is this one right here. This is the $51 Super Benriner Mandolin Slicer. Wicked sharp, easy to adjust. You wanna make sure to use a cut resistant glove with this number because this is your hand guard. All right, yeah, take some extra precaution there. Take extra precaution. The one that was easiest to use and that felt safest to the testers that's the $85 OXO Good Grips Chef's Mandolin Slicer 2.0. It had a great hand guard, nice and generously sized. It had a kickstand with a little rubbery coating, so it stayed put. Now, if you wanna spend less money and you want something more compact that's easier to store, this is the Kyocera Soft Grip Adjustable Mandolin Ceramic Slicer. It was $25. It was a lot more limited than the other two in terms of adjustability, sure. but it was sharp and it's really easy to store because it's so small. Again, kind of a small hand guard, so you'll want to wear those cut resistant gloves. And it's not too much of an investment. So for that price, you could buy it, see if you like to use a mandolin and eat lots of chips, lots of potato chips. You know, we may have made a potato chip or two, but I am always willing to make more. Sacrifice for work. Well, if you want to buy the top performer, it's the Super Ben Renner Mandolin Slicer and it retails 
for $51. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.